Hello beautiful and welcome back to my channel and welcome to this video where we are going to talk about PR that I did not expect to buy, did not expect to love, but here we are, they're in my collection and they are some of my favorite items. So we are going to talk about it, unexpected PR, stuff you just did not think you were going to like. This is a video that I've talked about before and a couple of you are interested in seeing it and I actually found another one lately so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna film that video, so if you're interested in that, do stay tuned. And if you haven't been here before, if this is your first video here, hello, my name is Angie. I am such a lover of beauty makeup. I love everything beauty makeup related, especially things that are a little bit more on the colorful side, like this look right here. So if you wanna see some more makeup, beauty, and color in your timeline, do not forget to subscribe, because I upload quite a few videos every week. I did film this look as like a get ready with me-ish thing. If it's already live, I will link it down below. If it's not live, it's coming soon. I will leave a link to all the things that I will be talking about in this video, at least the ones that are still available. And also I will leave a link to all the things that are on my face in case you are interested. So these are gonna be stuff that I have received in PR that I have said, no, I'm not interested or stuff that I had no interest in buying. But now that I have them, I really enjoyed them and these just made me change my mind about these things. These are things that I have mentioned as favorites, these are things that I have recommended to you, these are things that I use on a regular but I had no intention in buying them and I feel like this is one of the things about PR that I don't think that we talk about enough. PR is a way for me as a creator to discover favorites that I would have never discovered on my own, like hidden favorites. And I like to begin to talk about Kaleidos. This is a deep sea luster palette. I have mentioned this before. Kaleidos was one of the brands that I discovered through them asking if they could send me PR. And this, the deep sea luster palette, which is a palette that is discontinued. This palette was a palette that I have actively said on my channel, no, I'm not gonna buy this palette. This palette isn't for me. And then they sent it to me and I was a little reluctant. I was like, oh, I don't know if I want to try it. But honestly, this is an incredible palette. And you know that since then, Kaleidos has been one of my favorite brands of all brands out there. And it's through me discovering them through PR because I had already said I wasn't interested. I probably would have tried them on like later in the future had I not tried this one. But I'm so grateful that I said yes to this PR because it enabled me to try some stuff that I hadn't tried before. Another thing that I have been talking so much like to you is the Citronata palette by Glam Shop. This is a Polish indie brand and I had been trying Glam Shop before. Like this isn't me never trying the brand. I think I either did a video about Glam Shop or I mentioned them in the haul or I did something on, like I don't remember exactly what it was, but I did something with Glam Shop on my channel and they asked me if they could send me a PR package and they sent me a bunch of things. And out of all of those things, this is my favorite. This is their yellow monochromatic palette. I'm not 100% sure if this is still available, but I had like kind of decided that I wasn't gonna get their palettes because I thought that their palettes wasn't gonna be for me, but look at that. Look at that. So if this is still available, I will link it down below, but truly, I really, really do recommend not only this palette, but like this brand. This is a really, really fun brand that is situated in Poland. So if you're in the EU, this is a great brand for you to try. And I would have never bought this palette had it not been for them sending it to me in PR. I'm gonna be honest with you, when I did my last declutter, I got rid of the Colourpop uh -huh Honey because I had this one and I prefer that one. I think it's a really, really good monochromatic palette that has a lot of range when it comes to yellows. Not only because of the shades that I showed you, but this one is my, I think this is like one of my favorites. It's called Citron. And it is like a almost amber that has a little bit of a, like almost a peachy pink sheen to it. Like it is like an amber base and there is a pinky peach sheen in here. That's just very, very pretty and different. And yeah, really like the palette. Very excited that I have it. Can't believe I almost missed out on it. This was so unexpected because I've never, ever, ever gotten any other perfume in PR than this one, even though perfume is my absolute favorite thing when it comes to like beauty. Perfume is like everything. And this is the, I think it's pronounced Cacherelle. It's the Yes I Am, the original. It's looking like a, like a hand grenade and the sprayer is a lipstick. Like it's like a mixture between a lipstick and a hand grenade. I really love how this one looks. This comes in different ones as well. I do have one of the other ones as well. This is 
very sexy and it has cardamom in it and i love when perfumes have cardamom in it it's one of my favorite notes when it comes to perfume because it is my kind of spicy and this one has a lot of cardamom in it it is a very sexy but still on the feminine spectra. I, you know I hate describing perfumes as feminine or masculine. And when I say that, I don't mean that this is for women. I'm meaning that the scent is feminine. All perfumes are for everyone. But it is not super like heavy or it doesn't really have like leather or tobacco or anything like that. It is a little sweet and spicy and it is just a wonderful perfume. And I am down to here half of this perfume i've used and since getting this in pr like i said i did buy one of the other ones as well i have the one that is purple there's also one that is pink that has like a pink lipstick the pink one is a little bit more florally than i prefer but the purple one still has a lot of cardamom and i am a big big fan this is something that i mentioned like kind of recently that i've been so into look at how much i've used of this this is the benefit professional light primer this comes out like one of those pore filling primers like it is a little you know putty looking you can see that it's definitely like a thick more like a paste and when you start touching it you're like oh this is going to be one of those like putty primers but then it turns in to like a cooling water cream on your face and it just smells very faintly of like fresh ingredients and it does become a little blurring but still a little moisturizing and not that heavy silicone feel that some of those pore filling primers could be this is a wonderful feeling on your skin and it is definitely my most used primer right now i think this is an incredible primer have been recommending this quite a lot lately and i had absolutely zero interest zero interest in trying this one benefit actually did reach out to me because they were like we see you moved to us would you like to update your address to the your us address and i was like sure and they asked is there something you would like to try and i told them my favorite mascara is the bad Yal bang because it is and then i said if you have any news i would love to try them and they sent me this one and it's absolutely amazing this is a pr product that i got it in pr had i not gotten in pr i don't think i would have tried it out but i loved it so much that i have myself bought more after and these are the single highlighters by you see how well used this one is the single highlighters by uh, lethal cosmetics i do have how many do i have like six maybe i'm not 100 oh and i have to do duochrome ones these are ones that i have bought myself i have bought these duochromes myself they did send me a couple when they were first releasing the highlighters and i wasn't like you know highlighters are all fine and dandy but i was having so many highlighters and the last thing i needed was new highlighters but these are so nice on the skin and they don't look like much when you swatch them like this but they are just so pretty on the skin but yeah when you swatch them like this they don't look like much but oh they are so beautiful on the skin really really recommend these little cosmetics is a berlin like a germany based indie brand so if you're living in the eu again these are easy to shop from you can also find little cosmetics as cam at camera ready cosmetics i will link that as well down below so surprised about this highlighter formula i really really love it and like you could see i went on to buy more shades this one i bought myself Think this is a great highlighter formula and i don't think i would have tried this one out had they not sent it to me in pr this is a recent find this is something that i talk about recently and this is that trend mood sophie from trend mood sent me one of her trend mood boxes and i did get one of the danessa myrick's multi-chrome slim um like eyeliners and this one is in rose quartz and i liked it so much that i ended up buying another one myself and this one is in lemon quartz oh and this one has the tag on the bottom i'm gonna have to get rid of that one this is the one that's like a yellow to a green this is what it looks like and yeah i i had no interest at all trying these but i honestly think they are really cool and they're really fun to like paint on details with i usually use pens like this in my waterline but this one was so pretty to like paint on details with so i bought another one is a more yellow hoping it, it would work the same way i'm still in the process of trying them out but again this is one of those things i had already said that i didn't want to try it when i was talking about it in my new makeup releases but then i got it in pr and i liked it enough to buy another color it's a nice one i used to be on the nabla pr list back in the days i think they have slimmed down their pr list a little bit 
no hard feelings i still love nabla but one of the latest things that they sent me before uh, i am no longer on the pr list was the lip liners lip liners is one of those things sometimes i can be super super intrigued by lip liners it's one of those things i use basically every time i do my makeup and these nabla lip liners can you see how much i've used shade number one this is how long it is shade number one in the nabla lip liners because it's called one is my most used lip liner in my collection absolutely love it it is my absolute favorite it is the perfect uh, my lip color on me and i honestly think that this is just so beautiful all the colors are beautiful it goes from light like the number one to it um, a color that would suit more a deeper skin tone and the formula is so lovely it's one of those that you uh, sharpen yourself but it's still creamy but not too creamy it stays put it is just such a wonderful formula and i don't think i would have discovered this favorite lip pencil had it not been sent to me in pr and i just think yeah these are just so great so great and again if you are looking for something from a european indie brand this is the wild eyeliner pen by we makeup we makeup is an incredible italian indie brand they have so 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 many good formulas and this is a liquid liner with a brush tip applicator and this is great like it has to be really hyped for me to go out and buy an eyeliner myself but they did send this to me in pr and this is such a good eyeliner if you like brush tip applicators if you like a really black nice formula this is super easy to work with i 100 percent recommend this one and again it is a european indie brand in case you are living in the eu and want to save on like taxes and stuff but still want to try an indie brand refer brushes is a brand that i am not 100 percent sure if i would have tried as quickly as i did had it not been that they sent brushes to me in pr i think that with refer brushes uh, i actually met up with one of the owners in real life and he was talking about their like um he was talking about their initial idea because they were like oh we saw that uh, there were so many brushes and we wanted to slim it down so that you don't need so many brushes and i remember telling him um i was like it's not about needing a lot of brushes it's that it's kind of fun to have a lot of brushes and have brushes for different things uh, and i remember he 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 looked at me he's like huh i haven't thought about it like that and i've noticed uh, that since then i don't think i'm the only one who said that that they've actually come up with more brushes and also that they have changed their website because i think that they realized that with makeup it's not about what we need or what we have to have it's about having fun and what is fun to have and i'm so happy that they actually after emerging themselves within the beauty community themselves realize that but i will say with refer brushes that is the first time i think i honestly realize how there is a difference between a good and a bad blending brush because the refer blending brushes like the one for eyeshadow i i have like 13 14 15 this one isn't in 27 so this is a bigger one that's why this one is clean and the others are not because i use the 13 14 15 all the time that's when i realized that how the bristles are how they are put how they are flared out whether or not it's tapered how long the bristles are all of that mattered and even though i cannot find all of my favorite brushes within the refer range i really started to realize what makes a good brush and what makes a bad brush like why do i choose this one over this one even though sometimes just looking at them you might think oh they're the same but they're actually not and i don't think I, i'm sure that with time since refer brushes are fairly hyped i think for a good reason because i feel like the brushes are great i'm sure that i with time would have tried out the brushes but i had no real intent to try them out in the beginning and i didn't really believe much of them until i tried them but i really really do like the refer brushes i think like they are one of my favorite brush brands i i really do love how they work out let's get into something that's very unusual for me and that is soul body body lotion i never use body lotion if i do i use this one i think that soul body um i don't I haven't gotten any pr from soul body in a million years listen i think i've been kicked off P, uh, colourpop pr i mean colourpop and soul body Oh, Colourpop and Soul Body and 43 Beauty. I mean, they release so many things, and I used to get quite a few packages from them, and lately I have not, which is totally fine. Like, I'll buy what I'll buy, but I will say that being on the Soul Body 
PR list really made me discover how much I actually really like their products. I use a lot of their products all the time. And what I really truly discovered with Soul Body is their smell is incredible. The smell that they have on these body products, especially this body lotion, the shower oil, I went through a shower oil and a shower body gel as well. And they have it on like body butters and like all kinds of things. It's the smell, even the bronzing bombs. Oh, they're amazing. The smell is like a tropical, wonderful, yummy scent. I love it. I love the Soul Body scent. And that is the only reason why I use this body lotion, even though I don't really use body lotion. It's because of the scent. And I don't know if I would have tried out Soul Body as a brand at all had I not received an NPR. And I, this one I use, the body lotion. I also use the Gradual Tanner from Soul Body. I use the Bronzing Balm. I have some of their, I have one of their candles in the smell. Uh, I have a, quite a few things from Soul Body. Not only that I've received received in PR but also that I bought myself because I love the soul body scent so much and I don't know if I would have discovered that had I not received it in PR so I'm very grateful for that because when I see that soul body comes out with new products I'm like I'm always in the back of my head I'm like okay we also have to add to the value that this product probably has that amazing scent because the scent is just mesmerizing to me it's fruity it's tropical there's a little coconut thing in there but like not too much it's just a wonderful wonderful scent let me talk about one thing quickly at the end well it's actually two things but it's from the same brand and this is a brand that reached out to me at, quite recently after i moved here to the us and they asked me can we send you some things and this is from peach and lily and they have sent me two different packages and i really like their products i don't think i've talked about them at all i mean when you get sent PR, there are like no strings attached. Like if you want to talk about it, you talk about it. If you don't want to talk about it, you don't have to talk about it. It's not, it's not that deep. But they sent me a bunch of products. And the one that I love the most from the first package that I got is this matcha pudding antioxidant cream. This is a moisture and protect with matcha and niacinamide. This one, you can tell that I've been digging into this. It smells a little bit like a lemon tea. It smells absolutely wonderful. It has this mix between a cream and a gel. It's very fluffy and souffle-y and I really like how this feels on the skin. I actually use this as a night cream when I don't need an extra boost of um, moisture. And I don't mean that as this isn't moisturizing. This is definitely moisturizing and I use this every night. But if I need something that's like my skin is, maybe I feel like my skin barrier is a little bit broken or maybe I've been in the sun or maybe uh, it's extra dry, something like that. I usually use ceramides for that. But this is a really, really wonderful cream and I really like how this feels and my skin really likes it as well. And I would have never tried Peach and Lily had they not sent it to me. And last week they sent me this one. This is the Ginger Melt Oil Cleanser. As you can tell, I've only used it for a couple of days, but this is so good. This is so good that I realized that the cleansing balm that I've been using, I was like, why am I using this? This is so much better. This is so good. I used two pumps. I use it as the first cleanser to like break up foundation, eyeshadow, glue, sunscreen, all of that. And then I use another uh, cleanser afterwards. I really like it. I love the bottle. I love how it looks. I love how it smells. I love the pump. I love how great it is with taking off makeup. And it just smells just a little bit, very faintly. It's not a strong scent at all. I feel like sometimes these like oil cleansers, they're so... This one has just something, something, very faintly, at least according to me, and I really like it. I like it so much. If I continue to like this, this is going to be one of those things that I repurchase because I was like, this is so easy to use. You don't have to dip your fingers in there, especially when you have long nails, and it works so good. So impressed with this. I'm going to be linking all of these things down below in case you're interested. If you have any other versions of this like video idea that you would like to see, please let me know in the comments. You always have 
the best ideas of things that you would like me to talk about. Like I said, if you're wondering about my look, I will link that as well down below if it's live. If nothing else, I will link the things that I have on my face. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please let me know your thoughts and I will see you again very soon in a new video because like I said, I upload a lot of videos every week. Bye!